Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Crusader Kings 2, the game where I hit the wrong button all the time. All right, let's look at the world button. Um, man, Byzantine Empire continues to creep up into Italy. Italy continues to creep into Spain. England is formed, but they're in the middle of a bunch of rebellions, and they're taking some land from the Jorvik. Ireland is spilled over into, like, the northern England-Scotland area. The Irish are like, we're not going to take it. King of Finlag, Finlag, I'm not very good with Celtic languages. We're in the middle of fighting a war against Lithuania. I'd almost forgotten about that, <laughs> to be honest. We're saved up 500 gold pieces. We have a bit of an inheritance problem on the way. Um, our succession laws are ultimate genitor, so the youngest son, if there is one, inherits. We had been grooming Prince Studley's son to be that son. But then, as horse baby boy the Emperor is such a stud himself, he had another baby boy. So, um, yeah, Hermes could inherit at any moment, um, horse baby boy being 61, and if he does, we could have a long regency period which could really hurt the kingdom. I would consider changing to primogenitor, being the oldest boy inherits, but for us to do that, um, let me go find that. Um, for us to do that... We would have to have high crown authority. I think we have that law, though we don't have that enacted. Maybe we have to have it enacted. But one of the things is we'd have to have all of our vassals like us, and that's just not going to happen because we have a couple of vassals still in prison from leading rebellions. And I don't know why this asshole hits us, hates us. Why do you hate us, Odom? Because I'm a foreign conqueror? Because you want Magyar? Everybody wants that. Is there a duchy for that I could give you? No, you want the kingdom. Go fuck yourself. Everybody wants that kingdom. I don't know why. It's a shitty little kingdom. If you're really from that part of the world, I'm not saying your part of the world is shitty. You have no idea how many people I've had comment on videos from the eastern part of Europe. Most have been super cool, but one or two are like, you don't pronounce my country right. You hate us all. And I'm like, I don't hate anybody. Except for my axes. What? A new bird has arrived to the Mew and a new book on the art of poetry writing in the library. Well, I think last time he tried reading a book, he didn't care for it. So even though he's getting old, he's going to take the bird out for a hunt. And hopefully he doesn't get hurt and die. Alright, let's see. We've got about 2,000 men lined up here. We're getting, the rest of the army is all merging there, so we can have a second army to go fight the Lithuanians as our retinue sieges down their capital. For a capital, that's going to go pretty quickly. Because we have a lot of troops, and because this is just a tra tribal area. You know, actually, this army, we're going to move you, start moving you right into Lithuania now. We'll wait till the rest of these guys join up and get behind you. A new, the new bird was more aggressive than the ones I'm used to. It killed many rabbits, but was unwilling to relinquish his catch. You're the emperor. You can get new rabbits. Let them enjoy the rabbits. It even attacked me when I tried to pry one away. Um... We can say it's too far. No, we're going to be like, poetry is safer. We're going to go play poetry. So we got one diplomacy. It's like, now I understand why my ancestors all love poetry. Oh, we can have our um, daughter marry that guy. Can't we? Why is this broken? Our son is supposed to marry that girl. Fine, we will break these betrothals. We'll find you a new wife, Studley. So don't worry. Actually, I think it's going to be the same girl. But for some reason, they wouldn't launch correctly like that. We'll do the same thing with um, our daughter. Break the betrothal. For some reason... Who's that with? Kozo? Uh, and we will arrange a new betrothal though, between you and... Oh, no, nobody. Don't worry, girl. We'll find you a new husband. Um, let's find you someone who's a good steward. How about this guy? There, we'll get them all married off in this matrilineal, so we'll bring him into the family. We can righteously imprison this guy. I don't... Who are you? No, 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 you're way over there. You're going to start some giant rebellion that I'm not going to go deal with. You can go do whatever the hell you were doing that was illegal, bro. It's probably making babies fight in a baby fight pit. 
Nobody talks about Baby Fight Club. Oh no. This is not good. From the Emperor of the Holy Roman Emperor to the wretched Emperor Horse Baby Boy, may wisdom ever elude you. This is our formal declaration of war. Our army shall meet on the battlefield. He has 22,000 troops available to him. And has he brought any allies in on this war? He is not, but he does have allies. He's got, like, the King of Burgundy. I don't know if he's still, um... I don't think he's allied with France or Aquitaine, though, like his ancestors were. That could be good for us. Right, he's got 22,000 troops. I think we might have to raise everybody. Man, that's going to be a costly war just to defend our own territory. All right, we're going to raise up our troops. We're going to raise up the vassal troops. All right, everybody that can, you're all going to meet right there. The rest of y'all meet right here in Lithuania. You guys here in the east. You all meet me in this part of Lithuania, because we do have another war going on. Um, these very far eastern troops, we will just send them home. Because by the time they get there, it's going to be too late one way or the other. I should see what the Holy Roman Emperor is trying to take from us. That's worth finding out. It is the war for Erzkergam. For you, the one territory, or is that a... Ritzkergam is... For, oh, for right there, the whole pro, uh, duchy. I think the other thing we're going to do is let's see if our cousin with his holy order is around. He is! We're going to hire the holy order as well. Um, where are all these guys going? All right, we're gonna... No, we'll have them meet right here in the Holy Roman Emperor's territory. All right, we're going to have those guys go there. When is the, are these armies going to be here? The 18th, will we be out in time? You know, actually, what we're going to do, these armies here, we're going to tell them to stay home so that if they want to siege us, it'll take them more time to siege these territories successfully as we try and get our armies united. We still got a whole war with Lithuania going on. The plus side, we should be able to win some little battles right here. All right, yeah, our son got married. That's great. Great story. Can we call in our allies? Who are our allies? Shaman of St. Pete. Yeah. No, we want you to fight. Yeah, all, all wars. Come on. We got a lot of wars going on, bro. You're always already going to help because you're the holy warrior. What about you, chief? Whoever you are. And... The Khan... Who is our distant relative out east who never helps us? We'll ask him. Don't hurt to ask, does it? Damn, Holy Roman Emperor? Trying to take our territory? Ooh, we got the first battle of our war with the Holy Roman Emperor going on right here. Yes, and we won the very first battle. Chief Boro is no longer Chancellor. Oh man, he was an amazing Chancellor. We need to go find a new one. He was awesome sauce. He always made the Byzantine Emperor love us. This guy wants to be Chancellor, and he's really good. I don't want you leading troops. We are going to send you to go butter up the Emperor of the Holy Roman Empire. I mean, sorry, the Byzantine Empire. That's what I meant. Because I don't want the Byzantines attacking us. Oh, we're fighting another battle right here. Actually, we should send these little troops home. Because they're likely just to get caught by someone and killed. In fact, the guys in Stettin, we'll have them do the same thing. Come on, let's win these wars over here too. Who is this? Uh, to the heroic Emperor Horsebait Boy, may you live in harmony and contentment. Of course I'll honor my obligation. Where are you from, Chief? What? Oh, this little country here? 
He must be related to someone in my family. Or married to somebody. I don't know why you're my ally, but thanks, dude. Who is this? A message of offer to join war from Savin. To the righteous emperor, horse baby boy, peace be with you. Your cause is righteous. Please accept my offer to join you in the war. Oh my god, who are these guys? The Sarkil want to join us in fighting the Holy Roman Empire. Yes! Let us fight together against Catholicism. Are you Tangry? Mostly Tangry? Hell yeah. Join together, brothers, in the struggle. They're almost... Well, man. Right there, they have almost 7,000 troops. Wait, those aren't... These are the armies we have to worry about right there. We are fighting another little battle right here, though. We seem to be winning it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Dear half-brother, your wisdom and mercy are legendary. Of course I'll honor my obligation. He doesn't have a big army, but we'll take it. Kidnappers overpowered me and made sure I could not call for help by stuffing a filthy rag in my mouth. Luckily, they did not get far from me. Away with me. High Chief Tomislav and the guards managed to free me. Oh my god, I love you, High Chief Tomislav. They were going to steal me and violate my butthole. I'm sure of it. Make sure that the um, the the people trying to kidnap me are severely punished, Tomislav. All right, we're going to merge these guys right here. As we're trying to siege this area. Can we counter call war on them? Can we declare war on them and try and take something? No. I hear Christmas songs for Christmas battle. And we gotta get the rest of these troops to come up north. And how is our retinue doing? Sooner or later, they're gonna have to come join the rest. In fact, you know what? I'm gonna have all these eastern armies. Oh, wait, no, that's actually a good place for them to meet right there. Um, from the Khan in the east of the Come Lands, he refuses to help. He's like, you're a wretched jerk face. Yeah, I don't like you either. Ooh, these must be our allies. He's got some real troops. Hell yeah. Tangri unite. Oh, somebody needs... Oh, no. Okay, we won another victory. You know what? We're going to have these guys merge right here and stay here. Temporarily. We will have you guys... No, actually, we got... Where's the other army? We'll move you there. We will have you guys move to the Sando place. Got to keep our eyes out on enemy troops. Luckily for us, there's this Holy Roman Emperor territory right in the middle of our heartland. That should be pretty easy to siege. We just got to watch out for their giant army. And the fact that they are getting allies. You can see they will have soon close to 10,000 guys in force right there. Not good. Alright, let's appoint a new commander. Scroll, scroll, scroll. Studley Sin, our son. Yes, you can be a commander. And then we need a new chancellor. Oh my god, the last one just died? Here, we'll put this guy we don't like in charge. You're gonna go to the Holy or the Byzantine Empire and kiss up to them. And if you die, I don't care, because you didn't like me. He kind of likes me now, though. Man, the sooner we can, we gotta end this Byzant or this war with Lithuania too. But I would rather, honestly, um. Actually, we're going to have them all merge here. I'd rather, honestly, win the war with Lithuania if we could before we move on from it. That might be being a little too ambitious. I don't know. Come on, other armies of the south. you got to get up and join the ones in the north. Uh, we can usurp the high chiefdom of more Dova? Oh, we should do that. Because um, we'll click on more Dova here. If we look at the Azure realm, it's these three territories, right? And we have two of them. For some reason, we can usurp the title now. If we give that to one of our guys, they may eventually on their own go attack that. So we will, um, let's do that. Let's usurp it. It will cost a little bit of gold, but I think it's worth it. Horse baby boy, the pious, has usurped the Duchy of Mordova from Count Ezra, the hunter. 
And then we will give it to this guy. He's our kitten. Well, who's in charge of there? No, we're gonna give it to a relative. He's gonna want it anyway. So we will grant you, Madova, you will become a high chief and you will love us more than ever. Excellent. Why are all their guys right there? Who else are they fighting? We're the only ones they're fighting. So once they get their 20,000 troops ready or whatever, they're going to come east. So we got to be really careful to keep an eye on that. Let us merge these men. Ooh, that castle should fall before too long, too. How are we doing here in the capital of Lithuania? Almost got their capital tribal region. Excellent. So many wars at once. Horse baby boys... Rain has been nothing but bloodbath after bloodbath. <laughs> I bet the Holy Roman Emperor was like, it's my turn to try and murder him. He's been resilient, though. He's taken on all comers as dirty as that sounds. Ooh, That was a weird noise. <laughs> all right. Victory. We have finished sieging their capital here. Do we send the retinue after them? I don't think that's a good idea. We're trying to get these guys all joined up, and then we can free the retinue to do more stuff. Oh, we have allies here, though. Excellent. And what about when we merge all these guys? 13,000... You know, we're going to send the retinue across to start sieging there. We will move all these guys into the capital. Actually, we're going to divide our retinue in half. Half will stay and then half will go. That will hopefully protect the area because I doubt they'll want to attack either or. Oh, shit! Where did these guys come from? Right across the border. Okay. We need to figure this out. Some of these guys' paths are really shitty. No, stay right here. We're going to merge an army right there. Come on, how long will it take to get an army here that we can attack from? In fact, we probably ought to start moving the rest of these guys to the border. If there's any way we could piecemeal attack them, that would be perfect. Alright, Retinue, how long till you get in there? Uh, the 31st of January? Boom! Alright, we're sieging another area. Where is that defeat? Alright, right there. How many troops? We need to get a bunch of troops right here, though. I think the Holy Orders are in this group right here. Man, trying to fight two wars at once. I would love to move this retinue, too. Once we get enough of these vassal troops in the area, we will try and probably move the retinue out. They come from smaller farms. Some with a goat or a pig to sell. Some with only a bushel of vegetables or fruits. Others with a whole wagon of produce. The peasants sell their produce inside the city walls, but the burghers protest against it and want to forbid it. Um... We're going to say, yeah, let the peasants sell their shit in there. The mayor here is not going to be happy about it, but he loves us anyway. And deal with it. The peasants are our people, too. They should be able to sell their products. All right, how much longer till you guys get in there? February 13th, February 15th. Man, I think we might want to pull one of these big armies over to... Oh, but we're... Doing so well on that siege. Oh, if he marches out of there, we'll send the retinue in there, I think, to siege that as well. Alright, there we go. We got a 7,000 man army. We're going to move in and attack theirs. Hopefully we will still outnumber them at that point. Because they're probably going to get reinforcements sooner or later. They're going to... Oh, they're coming right at us. Interesting.
Actually, let's send everybody. If you guys can get up in there too, go. Man, that could be a major first battle if we could take out like 3,000 of their troops. You know we're a pretty powerful empire when we can fight two front wars like this. That being said, the Emperor has got at least, you know, 18,000 more troops hidden somewhere. As the two armies march towards each other, and it is on like Donkey Kong. We do not have a good leader on the left. That was a major oversight. We do have more reinforcements showing up, though. Hopefully they're not too far ahead of us technologically. We do outnumber them two to one. When will these 1,000 men get in there? On the 28th of March? You'll be there on the 28th of March. Oh, we got some more reinforcements from the south then. I do not know why we don't have better commanders. Oh, I think it's the leader of the Holy Orders that's um, running all the army. He's like, don't worry, fellow Tangri. Oh, man, we are winning too, big time. That's going to give us a lot of war score. Boom. I was hoping to give us more, but that's not actually bad. All right, 11% war score against the Holy Roman Emperor. You can see we have allies. He has none. He's still got 18,000 troops. That is problematic. Um, let's pull that army back there. We're going to merge and then reform this army into two different groups. We're going to move them towards Poland. The reason I'm doing that is, as soon as we finish the Poland War... I'm sorry, Lithuania, not Poland. My bad. As soon as we finish the war with Lithuania, that's going to free up a lot of troops here in the east. Which would allow us to um, move all of our troops west. Not only that, is I want to fight a defensive war. As long as the Holy Roman Empire has to come attack us through our lands, we can pick where we fight. You know, we can try and fit, pick mountainous terrain. Um, they're going to have a harder time, you know, with a long supply line. So that's what we're going to do. I don't know where the rest of their army is. They have a small army there, but they had an army of over... Or close to 10,000 around here somewhere. And I really don't know. We're the only ones they're fighting. They might have been heading for boats somewhere, though. Either way, if they turn up somewhere, we will find out. There's 20 of them down there. I'll see you all next time. Oh, look, 2,500 of our allies are coming across, too. I don't want to fight the Holy Roman Empire, but if we're going to, this is the way to do it. Thanks for hanging out, everybody.